Welcome along for another ride on the handlebars, everyone. Welcome to the Beehive State. Today we're going over Guardsman Pass to Cascade Springs. Let's go. It's a little bit hot today, about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35C. The Guardsman Pass to Cascade Springs Loop out of the Mid Valley Salt Lake area is just over 100 miles. It is easily a day trip. We'll be taking this loop clockwise today. Our first scenic area coming out of the Salt Lake Valley will be Big Cottonwood Canyon. Located in the Uena Wasatch Cache National Forest, Big Cottonwood Canyon is home to Solitude and Brighton Ski Resorts. Both have full service year round facilities. From Brighton, there are several easy trails leading to various lakes, including Twin Lakes, Lake Mary, Lake Martha, and Dog Lake. Today, we'll make a short stop near Brighton at Silver Lake. After a quick run around the Brighton Loop, we'll head over Guardsman Pass. This road is not plowed during the winter. This is a summer fall outing. During summer, it takes you past fields of wildflowers flanked by evergreens, aspen trees, and lush mountain foliage. This scenery is most spectacular during fall when the aspens turn orange, yellow, and the oaks radiate hues of red. Views from the ridge overlooking Heber Valley, Snyderville Basin near Park City, and the Salt Lake Valley seem endless. From there, we'll head to Bonanza Flat at the head of Pine Creek Canyon. As we come into Midway and Heber Valley, we'll be about a third of the way through our trip. Midway is a good place to stop for rest or some refreshment. Often when we're in Midway, we like to stop at the Heber Valley Dairy and get a scoop of ice cream. We'll head west out of Midway to Cascade Springs. Cascade Springs is a must-see for those traveling the Alpine Loop. It features springs cascading through limestone terraces and sparkling pools. There are two paths that stem from the parking area. One path is relatively steep, while the other is an easier slope and incline. The paved and wooded paths allow visitors to explore waterfalls and ponds. There are three 15-minute loops that surround the spring's major flow areas. So if you're interested in seeing the entire area, allow approximately 45 minutes to come. There are larger ponds that are shallow and clear, which make it easy to see native cutthroat trout swimming through the reeds. The site has barrier-free access and interpretive information. From here, we'll make our way through the east side of the Alpine Loop and then past Sundance Resort and then into the Provo Canyon. We'll head west through Provo Canyon into Utah Valley. You can get more information about this stretch of the ride from the Road Captain's Guide to the Alpine Loop. There will be a link in the description. There are only two of us on the ride today. Every good road captain should know the route and know it well, so let's go through some detail. The total loop is just over 100 miles. It'll take us about three hours to get through our ride today. We're not planning on very many stops, and when we do stop, we're not planning on lingering very long. We're getting started a little bit later in the day, so our ride begins with lunch in the Mid Valley area of Salt Lake. We'll head north to 7200 South or Fort Union Boulevard. We'll head east to the mouth of Big Cottonwood Canyon. We'll go straight through the intersection of Utah State Route 210 onto Utah State Route 190 and begin our climb. We'll follow Big Cottonwood Creek along 190 until we reach Brighton. We'll take a quick stop at Silver Lake. Here we'll find a lot of low impact hiking around the lake. We're not hiking today, but we'll show you the place. We'll do a run around the Brighton Loop, and then we'll head up to Guardsman Path. After the overlook, we'll come down to Pine Canyon Road. We'll follow it south down the mountain into Midway, and onto Utah State Route 222. We'll jog our way south onto Stringtown Road. We'll take a right turn on Utah State Route 220, or Cascade Springs Drive. We'll hike around a little bit at Cascade Springs and then head to the east side of the Alpine Loop and on to Utah State Route 92. We'll ride past Aspen Grove and Sundance Resort. 
will turn right onto US Highway 189 in Provo Canyon. At the mouth of the canyon, we'll turn right again on Utah State Route 52. We'll continue west until we intersect Interstate 15 and head north for Salt Lake and the Mid Valley area. Now we know the ride, let's get to it. Now we're headed up Big Cottonwood Canyon. Let's take a quick walk down to the creek. There's the stair station hydroelectric power plant. We're at the Lake Blanche Trailhead and Hidden Falls. This is a pretty popular place to hike, and the road has a cool escort. We've made it up to Brighton and the Silver Lake Recreation Area, managed by the United States Forestry Service. Here at Silver Lake, there's a boardwalk and trail that go all around the perimeter of the lake, as well as several groom trails going off of the main. Let's get back on the road. We'll do the loop around Brighton and then we'll head up to Guardsman Pass. Now we'll start our climb up Guardsman Pass. We've made it to the Guardsman Pass Overlook. We're turning on to Pine Canyon Road. Five miles to Cascade Springs. You gotta love the twisties on this road. We 
have arrived. Here's our obligatory pictures at Cascade Spring. Cascade Springs, as promised, let's get back on the road. We'll be riding over the Deer Valley Overlook and then on to the East Alpine Loop. So we've made it onto East Alpine Loop on Utah State Route 92. just past the Stewart Falls trailhead and now we're coming up to Aspen Grove we're now coming on to US 189 in Provo Canyon As we're dropping in altitude, we can definitely feel the temperature begin to rise. We'll be pulling into Canyon Glen for a little bit of a break and a drop of water. We'll take a quick walk for a look at the Provo River. It's getting cooler the closer to the banks we get. We'll get a look both upstream and downstream. It's a very nice spot. Let's get back at it, headed down to the mouth of Provo Canyon. We're approaching the intersection of US 189 and Utah State Route 52 or 800 North in Orem. As we're approaching, it appears that the police may be waiting for us. No, uh, there is a fender bender here at the traffic light. We'll be ending our ride heading north on I-15 towards the Mid Valley area of Salt Lake. I hope you've enjoyed your ride on the handlebars today and that you feel more familiar with the Guardsman Pass and the ride to Cascade Springs. Get out there, enjoy your ride, and we'll see you next time.